hello beautiful welcome back today i have a diy project we are going to do a little makeover on our bedroom and i'm saying we because boyfriend did help so oh, if you guys want to see how we got from this to drum roll please to this mm -mm -mm. well keep on watching but first subscribe why not it's free let's be besties hit the red button ring the bell and also activate all the notifications so you can get notified every single time i'm posting a new video on my channel and uh, yeah with that being said let's get into it Yona, can you open the door for me <laughs> thank you you're such a sweetie um, so this is our bedroom, you guys. Don't mind the carpet, there's cat fur. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep the curtains, I, they need to be washed. What is flying here? You guys see? Like, there is something flying. Is this dust? <laughs> or do we have uh, some... Uh, Entity. Or do we have some uh, entity? It's here. Oh my god. I hope not. Anyway, so yeah, I want to give these uh, nightstands a makeover because they are ugly. I don't like the color. They were gifted to us. The place we're living, it came with the furniture, but the bedroom was empty. It only had the bed, skelet, and those things on the wall, which I hate so much. And um, these were gifted to us, the nightstands, and also the little mirror, and this perfume stand, I like to call it, because as we can see, <laughs> we keep our perfumes here. Ooh, outfit of the day i live in a sports bra and whatever pants i can throw on these are from shein and oh my god they make my butt so big i have no butt left since i lose weight that's not my butt you guys <laughs> anyway i love them they are so comfy they are so airy anyway so uh, that's it you guys look at my cat Where is the ball? Oh, she's holding. <laughs> Why you got scared? Because I have the flash on. Alrighty, so first we removed these uh, wooden thingies from the wall because we wanted to paint the entire wall to get rid of this grayish color. And by the way, we already had the paint at home, but you know, it's just paint is very inexpensive. So we started with white. Okay guys, so we are here now. We just painted this wall white, one layer only. And now we have no idea what we want to do. Like I kind of wanted to do some geometric shapes like triangles, lines. Uh, I found so many options and now we don't know what we want. So uh, we are a little bit confused here, but I guess we will figure it out. And finally, we end up going for this dark gray rectangular shape above the bed because it was super easy and simple and fast. So yeah, we did that. And as we can see, boyfriend got super artsy during the process. <laughs> After removing the tape, we noticed that the edges weren't very smooth, so I took a little makeup brush and I tried my best to fix them and from far you can even tell, okay? So I always wanted those mirrored nightstand with diamond knobs that every influencer and their mother had back in the days. <laughs> but have you seen how much that costs? Mm, yeah, that isn't relatable for me or for my bank account, so I decided to make my own. And I literally just bought three items from AliExpress. This mirrored paper, some diamond knobs, and this foamy thingy to apply on my wall. And as it says here, even girls can apply them, okay? <laughs> uh, I already have a AliExpress haul on my channel if you guys want to check that out. I started to clean my nightstand so there's no dust or cat hair. Also, I removed those old 
knobs. The screw was so rusty. I'm impressed it hold it this much. Anyway, so next I'm going to take a lot of measurements. Make sure you take your measurements well because once you cut that paper, there's uh, no turning back. I already messed for one side but it's facing the wall so you can't really see that. So yeah, make sure you leave a little bit of extra room for the edges just in case. And once I finished with the measurements, I uh, also cut my pieces so I have them prepared. And when you go and apply the paper, make sure it's aligned with the edges because it won't stick straight, if that makes sense, if it's not correctly aligned. Also, you need some type of credit card, card, whatever you want to use to help the paper stick better and also remove those air bubbles. And please make sure you do not stretch that paper because it's a little bit stretchy but once it gets uh, stretched, like if you pull a little bit harder, it will create those stretchy marks and there's no going back from there. Uh, I also messed that a little bit, uh, so that's a little tip for you. <laughs> And I know it looks a little bit wonky right now, but no worries because it came with a protective layer. Wait a second, look how smooth that looks. So I suggest you to remove that protective layer last because, uh, oh my goodness, I messed big time with this project. So yeah, I'm giving you the best tips on how to uh, make it look uh, smooth and perfect okay trust me i know what i'm saying <laughs> I was very happy with how good it looked and also the fact that I haven't messed again <laughs> with this mirrored paper because as I said it was a struggle so yeah I was uh, very proud of myself Of course, I thought to get real mirror for this project but the fact that you have to get it customized cut it's so expensive where I live and that wasn't very realistic for me. So this AliExpress mirrored paper was the most affordable option at the moment and from far you can't even tell is not real mirror. Like it has the exact same effect. <music> Another tip, uh, make sure you lay down perfectly the edges and the corners because it's very easy for them to pop off. So make sure you do that and if you have extra fabric or paper, cut that off, okay? Make it look nice and smooth. <music> And then I went to apply the knobs and this part was actually very easy because I already had the holes from the previous knobs this nightstand had. Also you can glue the diamond knobs on top of this paper but I don't know how secure that will be so yeah. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory and as you can see it was very easy. I just introduced that 
a screw through the paper and that was it that was it basically that was it And we're back to the bedroom. I was playing a little bit with these foamy thingies to see how it looks best but actually it doesn't look that good because I don't know why I thought I will only use four of them but apparently I needed a little bit more. Anyway they were super easy to install and after a while they do pop off so I suggested to use a different type of glue to secure them better because that's exactly what I did uh, so yeah This is how it looks up close. If you ask me, it's not the best, okay? This is not the best, but it looks cute from far. And that's all that matters. Alrighty, so are you guys ready for the grand reveal? No, you guys are not ready. Okay, let's do this. And uh, this is the final result. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so as we can see, we did something on this wall. We didn't want it to be like plain color, boring, whatever. Uh, I am freaking impressed on how good the nightstands look. Like, what? What? Should I bring my ring light because i feel like it's a little bit too dark in here so obviously i put some clean fresh just washed um sheets and i kind of wanted to you know to add a little spice in there with this burgundy color uh as i said overall i'm freaking impressed i didn't have enough uh silver paper to do the mirror but i'm going to purchase just a little bit more because i feel like i have more projects now i also bought these things from aliexpress i honestly don't like no i don't like them because um, i mean i do like them but i feel like they are not appropriate for this type of curtains because they are way too thin and i feel like this is strangulate them strangulate that's the word so i don't know i feel like it looks way much better like loose this way this is the uh, outfit of the day you know some biker shorts um a t-shirt um sports bra in my face very cute anyway i wanted to point out that these uh, foamy stickers they don't stick very well so i should buy another type of glue and glue them so they are a little bit more secure because as we can see they're popping off and sometimes during the night they make this noise like they are slowly unsticking and i got scared a few times not gonna lie overall i do like the effect and by the way my brownie is ready do you guys want to see it it smells freaking delicious i hope it's ready so what i like to do to check if it's ready i like to take a little toothpick whatever stick that is called but the recipe said to let it a little bit undercook so it has that fudge you know wow uh, so. uh to me i think i need to cook this for or five more minutes because i don't like it that raw <laughs> even though it tastes delicious so i'm going to put this back in the oven but wow it smells freaking delicious by the way i added some crushed uh, almonds and some white chocolate in there for like little surprises you can see that little bit in there oh my goodness if this isn't the vibe 
I don't know what it is then. My sunset lamp. Uh, looks beautiful. So, yeah, there you have it, you guys. That's it. This is our bedroom makeover and I'm freaking proud of us okay because as i said the boyfriend did help say so, uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below what you think all right you guys so i guess that's it for today please let me know down below what you guys think do you like the before or after let me know down below because i'm so curious to hear your opinions i personally love i love it it looks more aesthetically pleasing i love the gray i love the diamond knobs oh my god they are my favorite so yeah it was kind of a struggle because i didn't have enough supplies so i had to go on aliexpress and buy some more and it you know it took a long time for that mirrored papers to arrive so yeah it was a struggle that's that if you do any DIY if you do any DIYs make sure you prepare first and you buy whatever you need, whatever you need to buy for your project so you are ready and prepared so yeah with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already I try to do more like a vlog style but I don't know how this video will turn because I haven't edited yet. <laughs> oh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.